Boss, is the airport far? Airport. Here, how far is it? Four no? minutes. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. We're on the way to the airport. I'm leaving um Philippines. We're flying to Vietnam, stop over, and then to Cambodia. Flight soon. This is like a suburb next to the airport. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Alright, boss. Bye. Welcome Thank you. Oh. Alright, let's go. Ninoy Aquino International Airport. Hey, uh, sorry this is the first vlog from the Philippines and we're leaving. You're gonna be like, bruh, how is the first vlog from the Philippines leaving the Philippines? The shoots that I've done here for the main channel, bro. They took so long. I full had no time. I'll give you as a little heads up one of the shoots. One of the shoots I, st I uh, went to the worst rated and then the top rated hotel in Manila. It went for two days, you can imagine. So if I'm staying one night, staying one night, the shoot goes over the course of two days. Bro, it's flat out. And then I've done another mad shoot, but that's why I just had no time to vlog until now, unfortunately. Anyway, this is baggage porter services. Check. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to where the staff go. Check-ins there. There's so much security in the Philippines. There's, there's um, like military officers with machine guns. I'm not just talking here, the airport everywhere, like big massive guns. You walk the streets of the city and I swear to God, every 50 meters is some bloke with a pump action shotgun. <laughs> it's craziness. What plane? Flight, I'm going to uh, Vietnam. What do uh, you mean? Uh, Ho Chi Minh. That was confusing. I think they just make sure that you got to fly before you come in the airport. So yeah, I got to go to I'm going Vietnam Airlines from Manila, Terminal 1 to Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon at 12.30 and then to Phnom Penh. One hour stopover. 12.30 flight to Ho Chi Minh. 12.30 Ho Chi Minh. It says Philippine Airlines there, but here it says Vietnam Airlines. Anyway, VN3943. Ah, it doesn't even say it, bro. <laughs> Counter 40 to 57. And then gate one. 40 to 57. Yeah. Over here, lad, let me just say it was craziness, bro. These last three days I've been here. Wow. I don't know if he's following me on Instagram, but he's seen the post. I came here to Manila to do into the hood. I'm not going to get into it here. But I'm not, I'm not doing into the hood. I'm not doing into the hood in most, most places no more. It's just way too, way too poor. I'm not walking around with a GoPro filming poor people talking about how dangerous the place is. Uh, nah, lad. I'll keep that to the you know, first world countries, bro. Just to be, you know, not, you know what I mean? Australia, I'll go to UK and stuff like that. New Zealand, America. But yeah, it's just not right, bro. I'm not filming poor people. Um, to get views for YouTube. The people, the way they're living and the way they're, it's, they don't choose that life, bro. And there's like almost nothing they can do about it. So who am I to fly in like some hero from another country and walk around with a GoPro? And they're just looking like, ha huh, ha. Huh. You know what I mean? Mums and babies and kids and stuff. Nah, mate. I'll leave that for someone else to do for views on YouTube. So I just tried to do more positive things here, you know what I mean? But anyway, so I quickly, last minute, came up with new videos. So there's that video I told you, and then there's another video, it's a mad video. So we're gonna go here, the flight's in two hours, Ho Chi Minh for an hour, and then Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Same story in Cambodia too. Same story anywhere in Southeast Asia. Africa, South America, stuff Middle East. I'm not doing it, bro. Like, did you see when I filmed the suburb on the way, like just at the front of the airport? That's not a bad area. That's not the bad area. That's not the hood. This is a far, far way away from any bad area. Just to give you a perspective. You know what I'm saying? This city's huge though. Bro, it's huge. It's huge, bro. This, and, and not just like, I mean like 
uh, it, it just covers a lot of land. I mean, the actual buildings, the CBD, it's massive. I think it's the biggest city I've ever been in. There's so many like CBDs, like there's just blocks and blocks of them, skyscrapers everywhere, it's craziness. Look how many people are checking in. Bro, I had a, had a little scare there. <laughs> when I went to like get my boarding pass, he goes, do you have an electronic visa? And I said, for what? Uh, and he goes, cause you know, stopping in Vietnam, you need a visa for Vietnam. Um, and he goes, yeah, even if you stop in, you, and I'm only in Vietnam for one hour and five minutes. I'm like, I've got to get a visa to change plane. So he talked to someone else and they, honestly, I talked for about, they talked for about over 10 minutes. I was like, no way this is going to happen. But they just gave me the boarding pass and said, it'll be all right. <laughs> I hope it's going to be all right. I'm going to go through here, but I'm not going to film in there. Let's all like go on through customs, people with guns and stuff. It's the most nerve wracking shit, lad. Going through customs in like full roofless countries, lad. I had to take my shoes off, right? Everyone has to take their shoes off. And bruh, so there's I had three different trays. And the last tray, like, so I got my bag, I'm holding it. I got my laptop and ca this camera out of the other tray and put the laptop in the bag. I'm holding this camera and it's just the one tray of my shoes in it. And it, it's the only thing to come out, my, you know, it hasn't came out. And the lad's looking at it and he calls over another bloke and they're looking at my shoes. And then I look at the tray, the, the, the uh, conveyor belt and it's going back and forth in the thing. My shoes are getting scanned. And I look at Matey and he's making like, um, they're looking at it, he's making like a square figure with his hand. I'm going, bro, what's in my shoes, please, bro? Don't kill me. What's happening here? Like, that's the, you know, that's the reason that I didn't uh, bring any uh, check-in baggage. I just have my backpack. I have four outfits, my toiletries, my laptop, like my work gear. That's the whack and no one's touching them, lad. Cause it's roofless, lad, you know what I mean? It's full roofless. Like my, <laughs> they're scanning my shoes. My life is flashing before my eyes. I'm like, please don't tell me there's something in my shoes, lad. Anyway, we're through. We board in an hour and 10 minutes. Enough to have a sus. Enough to have a sus. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Lad, I had no time anyway. I didn't get a Manila soccer jersey. You know how I get soccer jerseys everywhere? I don't even know if they play soccer. Everywhere in the world plays soccer. Manila FC soccer jersey or something like that. I wonder if we can find one at the airport. A fool just come to my head because I seen the souvenir store. Spewing snack and pasal lubong. You want to look at some Filipino snacks, lad? We'd be blessed if we find a soccer jersey. Air lounges, coffee, souvenir shops. All right, well, come that way, so we'll go that way. Starbucks. You know what I didn't bring though? I genuinely have to buy a spray. I didn't, I didn't bring one. I haven't had one for three days. So you know what I've been doing? Because I like just randomly spraying. I like the nice smell, bro. You know, it makes me feel better. So like on the business flight on the way, the long flights, like the flight to here and the flight back home from um, where I'm going, uh, where I'm finishing, uh, I got those business class because they're like 10 hour flights. All of these flights in between are one hour flights. So, but on the business class, I got this mad face mist and it smells so strong. I thought it's a bit too much perfume to be on my face. So I spray it all around my neck and my shirt. I love this brand, La Satan. They do make sprays, but I don't think they have it here. You know what, we'll save that. Cause I don't want to just buy any and there's n there's none that I, you can spray there. We'll get, I'll get something to eat here, right? Can I get the, the chicken sandwich? Chicken Super sandwich. chicken sandwich? Where is it? Over there. All right, thank you. Super, super tuna sandwich, chicken sandwich. Yeah, can I get uh, a chicken, please, and a tuna, and a bottle of water, please? 
I hope these sandwiches are sweet, lad. You gotta be careful what to eat, I'd like. Straight out, bruh. And I don't know if airports amplifies that danger or not, but just when I seen like that fish and stuff there, I thought, nah, lad, just, where's the sandwich, bruh? Give me a veggie, my sandwich. I got chicken and a tuna sandwich. Nothing magical. I, I ate the middle out of all of them. <laughs> they tasted all right. But just sandwiches, nothing to carry on about. I was actually thinking, oh look, there's a Lacoste store here. Mad. I was actually thinking, does, does it actually, being in the airport, you know how I said, it might amplify the risk? Probably reduces the risk. One or the other, I don't know. Not rolling the dice, mate. We got a big holiday to go. Not wrecking, wrecking the holiday, you know what I mean? Gate. Wait, where's gate one? Gates two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are. We're gate one. Gate one's this way. Oh, thank you, thank you. All right, lucky. <laughs> gate one. Oh, gate one's down here. It's right at the entrance. Well, that's boring. That's gate one there. Gate one looks red hot, lad. Why is every other gate normal in the middle of like just all open? And this one's like a security checkpoint, lad. Anyway, yeah, we've got heaps of filming to go. I'm not gonna bore you sitting around looking at the walls. Later. I think I've got a window seat. 63A. That's a window. A's and F's. A's and F's. I'll just have your Thank you. Uh, 6 8 Mr. That's the old view. See in Vietnam, lad. Thank you. Bye, sir. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. All right, bro. I sort of got a rush, lad. <laughs> we got like 50 minutes. Like that might seem a lot, but for all I know, I could look on the board and check the flight, and it could be at a different terminal. If that happens, if it's at a different terminal, sh shut the gates. I'm sleeping in the airport. I remember once, me and my wife changed over in Dubai on the way to Europe. And it was like a 45 minute layover and it was like three terminals away like we were running for this train and there's trains in the airport you know hopefully it's just straightforward here lad national transfer oh. i remember when i came to vietnam this line is savage lad i remember saying that look at the lines international transfer what's that Why is that there though? It's confusing. It says it's here, but like that, it's confusing. Oh, all right. I'm gonna put you on pause for a second. That was the gate, the, the door. That was the correct door. We're gonna find a, a board that's got like the flights on it. Once I see the board, see, oh, we're here, but we're sweet. I hope. I'm not saying nothing, cuz it's gonna lie better than I'm in the way, cuz. Alright. Mum pen. 26. 26. We're eight. Non penny cans, lad. Now I can crack all jokes, lad. Full Phnom pens, lad. <laughs> That's how it's spelled, Phnom pen. I don't like the silent P. Non pen. Phnom penny cans. Phnomski, any cans, pars, lad. Panesh. Panoj, lad. We Panoshan, lad. I'm Panoj and Panom Penikins, lad.
We are in Saigon, lad. Saigon. Yeah, I've been here before. You just remember? If you don't remember, I'll give you a head bite. How about that one? And I ate those weird things, lad. <laughs> that was cracked. It wasn't even the bugs at the end. They were cracked, but it was that weird alien that from the bottom of the ocean that I ate the jelly out of its abdomen. You know, the first time I came to Vietnam, right? Oh, lad, they got Vietnamese coffee here. Yum. Again, some mad Vietnamese shit, lad. First time I came to Vietnam, obviously. I'm from like Australia, so I thought, ah, I was walking around Vietnam. Bro, this is so poor, this and that. Like, I full thought, like, bro, this is like third world. You know what I mean? Lad, you seen, do you see the difference then with the takeoff images from Manila to the landing images of, yeah, Ho Chi Minh? Lad, it feels like we're in Beverly Hills here now, cuz. Lad, it's just, just like a whole nother level. Beef for eleven dollars. Yum, bro. Like it's like Vietnam's like Beverly Hills. Like, look out the window. Look, oh, that's Beverly Hills, brother. I thought that was Hollywood. I'm walking pretty far, mate. <laughs> it better have said twenty six. Twenty six up there. Surely there's oil it tastes down here too. Oh, they got mad pork rolls here. Vietnamese coffee's there. Yes. I was hoping I didn't have to walk all the way back down there. Yes! Okay, 26. What are you talking about, lad? We're going non pennicans Adelaide. We're Pinojan non pennicans If there's a toilet close by, then the trifecta deal has been sealed, lad. This airport's hot, lad. It's not aircon whatsoever. There's toilets there. Vietnam's all right, lad. I might do a little investment property, lad. <laughs> Vietnam feeling, smelling, and looking real nice right now. Hopefully, I can pay with my Aussie card. <laughs> um, I want that, a Vietnamese coffee, I want a water. I want everything, brother. The bodybuilder, this, that. Can I get uh, one of these, please? Yeah, and can I get a Vietnamese coffee? Ah. Uh, it says they're coffee with coconut milk or salty cream coffee. I want to get the salty cream one. Vietnamese uh, salty cream coffee, please. There's a few types. There's classic, there's fine. Oh, this says finest. What's finest? Black and milk finest. No, I'll have the salty one. I'll have the salty one. Hopefully this works, lad. I don't know if your card works overseas. It worked? Oh, beautiful. Oh, let's go. Hey, lad. Full jumps wrong slap. Bougie water, salty coffee, and a beefy baguette, lad. That's oge, bro. Over there, looks like they're making bamboo juice. I'm gonna go on the plane loaded. You know what? I'm spewing I didn't get a soccer jersey, lad. I don't know, but like I said, I don't even know if soccer's a thing in Port hey, no. Portugal in wherever we were. Philippines. Look at this. Look what he brings. It's cold, too. Full of ice, lad. I thought it was gonna be a hot coffee, and look at this, lad. Hot beef, it's got like kimchi on it. Kimchi. <laughs> kimchi. Oh, yum, lad. Wow. Mmm. That beef is so seasoned. There's an orange sauce, like a spicy sauce. And it's like kimchi, it's like pickled cabbage on the top. Chili, sesame seeds, a bit of cucumber. Mm. Yum! What a go to choice, lad. I'm gonna have a taste of this. It's a Vietnamese coffee, it's cold, salted cream. I don't know what to expect. In my head, I'm thinking, you know, like salted caramel? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Lad! Bro! That's one of the best drinks I've ever tasted in my life, lad. All right, think along the lines of, you know, like a McDonald's, uh, McDonald's coffee frappe, right? Let that be the starting base. Then replace that with an actual strong, bittery 
coffee taste that leaves uh, aftertaste of coffee. So legit coffee, right? Just as sweet as those Macca's ones, but not icy like McDonald's. It's not flavored ice. It's legitimately coffee and cream. So instead of it being a cold ice that gives you brain freeze, it's a cold, thick cream, like melted ice cream, right? With that flavor. And on top of all of that, really sweet. On top of all of that, salty. It has the salt from like the salted caramel, but without the caramel, caramel with everything else I just said. Lad, what is that? That's arguably the best drink I've ever had, bro. Salted cream, Vietnamese coffee, salted cream. Bro, well. The, the, the rolls are right. Like, it's not like a fresh one you get in the street. It's been sitting in the window, it's reheated. It's all right, but, but that drink, well, <laughs> bro. I'm looking at this, going, bro, thinking about that while I'm chewing this. <laughs> wow. That well was full of coffee still. <laughs> I swear. Like, you got a spoon too. Listen to this. It's just all ice, lad. Oh, lad. That's cut, lad. That got punished. I would never forget you. I'm gonna talk about that coffee for, for so long. Anyone ask me about Vietnam, and I say, brother, they got this coffee, they put salt and cream, you don't know what you're talking about, lad. All right, boarding is 2.55. It's 2.56, what are you talking about? What? That was a good timing, eh? I thought I had some time still. The flight's at 3.45. Why is boarding so early? Maybe I'm tripping. Well, we didn't really get to explore Vietnam Airport that much, but bruh, it's just a layover. All right, we're boarding now. Some stuff over is a savage, lad. Last trip to Europe, I had a couple like eight, on the way back, a couple eight hour stopovers. They're putrid, it's that putrid middle ground where you're not booking somewhere, you're not sleeping, but yeah, it's still a long time. Window seat again, another A. If it's a short flight, window seat, yeah, man. If it's like a long flight, but they get me in the aisle. The windows don't last long, you know what I mean? You see something during takeoff, you see something like landing, and that's it. The other 14 hours, like, bruh, let me out. <laughs> nah, but you know what? Like, I think the first time I remember flying to Europe, first ever time, um, on the way to Dubai, stop over in Dubai. I remember in the middle of the night looking out the window and I could see Sri Lanka. And I was just thinking, because Sri Lanka, that sight from the plane, that was the first time I ever laid eyes on like an international country. And I was just looking at it, I was like, bro, it's like a full nother country, lad. <laughs> and I watched it the whole way, bro. I watched the city. It was the city, Colombo. And then we flew over India and you can see you're like you're flying over, I can't remember what city it is, but you're flying over a major city at night time, so you see the whole grid, you know, all the lights, the streets. Again, exact same position. It's not bad, lad. That's huge cars. You get all the bird's eye views, lad. But you know what's been happening to me? I was just thinking, like it was happening on the, on the last flight. But all my muscles, cramp lad like if i flex my bicep it cramps my forearms like if i hold my arm like this it, it starts cramping like bro my muscles cramp lad and i know the common call like things people say you need salt you need potassium you need magnesium whatever but lad bro i, sm I smash supplements like zma that's that covered i eat bananas galore um you know i'm a salt monster i'm a salt donkey um, like, but I don't know the explanation, like, muscles cramping all the time. Maybe just need to, like, start stretching and get massages. I used to get massages a lot. I don't know, the last few months I've had, like, two. I used to get, like, two a week. Anyway, maybe I'll get one in Cambodia. And before you say water, brother, water was invented inside my circulatory system, lad. A, a hammer water, too. You say me just hammer water. What are you talking about, brother? Don't touch me. He 
hands down, that was the quickest hands down fly I've ever been on. 32 minutes. I thought it was an hour, lad. We took off, we went up, and it's, you know how you, you do the maneuvers, uh, you know, the retractor flaps, we're at the altitude, bang. Seatbelt thing goes off, the, the crew, they ran to grab like bottles of water. And they're like going down the aisle, handing them out semi-frantically. Get towards the end, haven't even handed out bottles of water to everyone. Cabin crew prepare for landing and they're rushing, giving bottles of water out. And then collecting like half drank bottles of water. And then they're telling everyone to prepare for landing, lad, I'm telling you what. Because it's like 10 minutes until you get to that altitude. Then they was giving it out for 10 minutes and it's like just over 10 minutes to prepare for landing. That was crazy. Bro, I'm in Cambodia, lad. I'm actually full G to be here. Cambodia, brah. Got to do a visa on arrival and then we're off, lad. We're in the jungle. Bro, that was mad. Let me tell you something hectic then that happened, right? Say when I went to like Philippines, right? A million people, angry, hectic, like just chaos. Like who, mean looks, you know what I mean? Uh, by like, like military people, you know? Same in Vietnam, when I went to Vietnam, same thing, like chaos, a million people, everyone piling on. You know that, you know what you expect. And I got here, bro, and it's like, oh, bro, it was the best, like, because you just know that this is like one of the poorest countries in the world, bro. So, and they don't get, I don't think they mustn't get much tourism because like, first of all, the airport was like dead, right? There's no lineups for nothing. I walked through, you know, those scanners and it was just me and it was like, you know? But anyway, the point is, so when I went past the part where they stamp, I had to get a visa, you pay $30. And then I went past where the police stamp your thing and bro, it's like they were like, full excited like genuinely excited to see me they had no idea who i am i'm not saying that but it's like said so it was a police guy like an army guy whatever and he was like the, the ones that suss you out you and stamp your passport and he was like how long did you come for and i go three days he goes you should have gone one week i'll show you some cool places to go like this will be cool for a tourist and he's pulling out his phone he's googling like places like temples and islands he goes you got to stay for one week next time stay for a week and and he goes, pull your phone now, I'll show you this one. And it's like, rah. And it's just me and this like um, police guy at the one counter and the other eight counters were just empty and the police guys are just like playing on their phone, brah. And he was like, bro, and go here and eat this. This is like a customs officer. And then I come through and I come out here and it's just like full chilled. The whole vibe was mad, bro. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, they looked scary. Everyone was all just like, Asian military people, but it, it, they were so nice, lad. That's mad. That's my first impressions of Cambodia. He's just deaf there and look. <laughs> we'll get a quick feed and then I'll jump in a taxi and we'll go to this motel. What's the time here? What about how quick the flight was? 5.20. I've been here for like 20 minutes. The vibe's mad, bro. I don't know. It's just such a different vibe. Even just see being at the front here, bro, like, like, see how, like, the taxis are there and they're just relaxed and there's just people relaxing and the taxi drivers are just standing next to their car. They're not screaming at you. They're not like, I don't know. It's just mad, bro. Hey, how are you? Even this vlog's like, interested in my camera. It's hectic. I think I'm going to like it here in Cambodia. I'll grab a quick feed. I'm not going to bore you with the feed. I'm going to get something bodge anyway. I'll just pump kimchi beef fried rice this oj was mad i sussed out the mot the hotel i'm staying at it's called the ohana Phnom pen palace hotel you see we're here at the airport obviously and this and look where, where it is it's smack bang like in the middle of the city on the water my wife books my motels for me she's like my assistant you know what i mean she's all my bookings flights everything so i think she picked a good one just going off location bro it's so chill here it's so chill here are these the taxi drivers look how chill they are other places the taxi drivers are yelling at you here you gotta do a cough to <clears throat> try to get their attention can i get a taxi please yeah please yeah the Nom pen palace hotel on the water. Oh, Hana. Oh, Hana Hotel. Oh, Hana, yeah. Thank you. 
you know Cry already? No, I don't know the price. Why, why, why are you asking me if I know the price? You want to trick me? <laughs> he goes, do you know the price already? <laughs> what's the price? Tell me, what's the price? The price is uh, 18. 18? Yeah. 1, 8, uh, American? Yes. Yeah, that's okay. Yes. Yeah, I'll give you 20. <laughs> he said, do you know the price already? <laughs> I said, no. He goes, all right, I'll give you a good price. <laughs> It's only 18 US, you, you, so $20 is snuffy. like look motorbikes are pulling up it's like there's um little cart stalls and the bikes are just pulling up to them look it's mad but this city looks hectic it's so different so different from manila it just i don't know i feel like it's just so much more happier i don't know it's weird to explain the vibe like you gotta be here to know, or you gotta be in Manila to know. Like just the whole vibe is different. It's mad. It's all army stuff. All army gear back there. Still more. Oh, what's all military? Why is it all army stores? Why? How many is there, brother? How come it's all army? What's all the stores? The army store. Uh, the shops or uh, army clothes. Oh, you want to buy army? No, 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 no. I don't want to buy. Have, Why? Have, have on, oh. Why or army? Why? Yeah. We have, we have here, only here. Oh, the army's here. Yeah, only here. Oh well. Army and police. Oh, they buy their they everything buy there. Here, yeah. So the actual army and the the police actually go there. That's where they sell all their gear. Do you see all those stores? There was like 30, 40 stores. Wow, look at these mad projects. Look, lad. Boo Young Town Project. Look at this. <laughs> They're massive. They're like as big as the projects in Serbia. But these ones are nice though. Brother, is, is Phnom Penh... Is this city dangerous? <laughs> is it dangerous? You, you mean about jam uh, uh, traffic, right? Dangerous like um, for me, for tourists. No, no, no. Not dangerous? Yeah, uh, no, yeah. Because people, people tell me that here everybody has guns no. and... No? Yeah, there's a security here. Oh, a lot of security? Yes. Okay. Some people scaring me. They're saying, watch out in Phnom Penh. It's very dangerous. Say no code about Cambodia. Yeah. Look at that in the park over there. People are playing like um, little mini soccer, juggling and like... Like badminton and stuff, it's mad. Yeah. Left side many, here. Yeah, this here. Many foreigners here. Many foreigners are here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a security, don't, don't worry. Oh, yeah, nice, it's nice. Here, here. Yeah. Many, yeah. My motel is here? This is Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hey, um, uh, this is the motel, lad. <laughs> bro, you know why I asked him? You know how I said, um, bro, is it dangerous? Because when we are in the car, I was reading, lads sent me some messages on Instagram. People that have a message before, they didn't look like, it wasn't like fake accounts or something. Anyway, long story short, one lad's like, I've traveled a lot, bro, and Cambodia is one scary place, stay smart. And I'm like, all right. And then um, I read another bloke's message and he was like, Cambodia is next level. I seen a bloke with a gun and rocket launches in a tuk-tuk, there's needles everywhere. And these are like full grown adults that haven't messaged me before. So I'm thinking in my head, hey brother, how are you? Where are you from? Sydney. Sydney. 
Australia. Oh, good day, mate. Hey, good day, mate. How are you? <laughs> good day, mate. How are you? Yeah. What's your name? Anthony. Anthony. Anthony, I'm staying here. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you, brother. Yeah, Anthony. Anthony, yeah. You're from uh, uh, Bangkok or where? I come from uh, Manila. Manila, oh. Manila, Philippines. Oh, Philippines, Manila. Philippines, yeah, Manila. Oh, okay. So now you can make it all for your For friend. YouTube, for YouTube. Oh, YouTube. YouTube. Oh, <laughs> What's your name? We. Oui. We. Oui. Yeah. Your name again? I'm Mal. An Anthony. 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 Yeah, yeah brother. Anthony. Okay, Anthony. All right, Anthony. thank you, brother. Back to the yarn. He's saying, bro, there's people with like guns and rocket launchers. Then he goes, finishes, but watch out for the needles. They're everywhere. You won't miss them. And in my head, I'm thinking, like, bro, what am I getting into? Like, what? Why? I, people have never said this to me anywhere. Even when I was going to the Philippines, nobody messaged me and go, watch out there. And that place was crazy, lad. Like, but I don't know. It doesn't match the vibe that I'm getting, bro. As soon as I got off of the airport, the customs, the taxi driver, the people at the front. Like, to me, this place feels like mad, bro. Like, I feel genuinely happy here. The vibe I'm getting. Like, no, no diss to the Philippines, but the vibe difference, it's like black and white. Like here, it's like, I've, I don't know, I'm just smiling from the minute I go off the plane, all the energy of everyone's like really warm and it's mad, bro. Anyway, what a place that she booked, beachside. Looks like this place is pumping. All nightlife and stuff. Anyway, I'm checking in, bro. Me, I'm in the middle of work, lad. We gotta, we gotta upload files and charge batteries like a boring person. I could hear that music the whole time. I thought it was like on speakers. He's actually sitting there playing it. That's hectic. Let me get my swipe out. I keep having like little dramas. You know, I said my like my wife does my bookings. For some reason, sometimes when she books it, she books it in her name and it gives me dramas. So it's like they can't find the booking. I'm like, all right, no, no, here's the number. This is her name. She's my wife, blah, blah, blah. Stop booking in your name, wife. I'm here with my passport. How's that going to work, mate? Think about it. I love you. Sounds like a waterfall here. Oh. <laughs> you know I'm scared of heights? I put the finger over and I just heard a cat killing another cat and it made me full shit myself. I just I didn't tell her to book anything boo. Whoa, that door just flew open. Oh yeah, it's mad. Hey so. Let's oge bro. Hopefully there's internet. That's it. What view have I got? My little pad. Oh, I've got a balcony. Hectic. Oh, bro, that's a mad view. There's a palace outside, lad. Bro, that view's off its head. Look at that, lad. Full palace at the front. Mad bridge. I feel like I'm in the, the mad spot. Look, there's mad cruisers on the water. Yeah, she picked the mad spot. Anyway, I'll let you go there. Getting around here, exploring here, there's a whole different episode, a whole different vlog. Laters.